I'm currently dying a death, which is probably going to get the better of me. So before I do pass away, let's go and hit the charity shop one more time. Oh, I'm going to get run over. Hopefully, we can get some more bits out of here today. Oh, sorry, Charlotte, you can't come in. That'd make a really cool album cover, wouldn't it? Good morning. Morning. How's Ricky? All right, how are you? I'm all right. I'm back at work. I've been away. Oh, yeah. Recently. Where have you been? Getting a new part. A new hip? Knee. Oh, so it's either hip or knee, isn't it? Yeah, well, I've done the hip. I started, I'm working down. <laughs> You shout and scream and run for your life. These things always keep coming off the hangers, man. Stay on the hanger. There's been no, like, decent additions apart from that one little thing yesterday. To the clothing. It's getting to the point where I might have to pick up the pink stuff. What do you reckon? 30 quid? 30 quid. Good afternoon. Hello, mate. Got a haircut. Hello, mate. You right? I'm yeah, right. I've chopped, How are you? chopped it all off. Good, good. Oh, if that was the John Lewis slash Jelly Cat one, oh my goodness. But it's not. Still gonna get it. Stop picking up all the junk. I reckon it'll sell. Pretty sure I remember that from back in the day. Some of these might be slate or triple A. Sorry, no, no, my apologies. <coughs> yeah, triple A's. Poxy. Sorry, Shaz, I mean, Schleich. DLC. I'll leave them for somebody else. I'll pay double. I'll put it up for auction. No, you won't. There's a Spider Man puzzle. Oh, I've got no interest in the Spider Man puzzle, I'm only joking. No, well, I didn't think you had, but you were just winding me up. The lady on the Oh, sorry, Charlotte, you outside checking out these two umbrellas i'm not too fussed about this one but this one if you look it's a very early if you can see it from there but it's actually a fulton umbrella sorry my dear yeah no not today no <laughs> yeah it's actually a very early fulton so i'm going to get that regardless of condition because i think it might still hold some value i'll tell you a bit more about fulton when i get home i was just about to run off but i forgot i've got the wrong shoes on no, so I had to come back in, unfortunately. Oh. Never mind, there's always another time. Sorry, I'll squeeze by you again. Sure, thank you, yeah. thank you. What's up, brother? Oh, hello. Hello. You got anything for me to buy? I'm, I'm, I've got half my hands full and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not happy about it. What's the matter? I want, want to buy some stuff. Yeah, buy it then. But there's nothing else out there. Have you got anything up here? Uh, you can have a little look. Do you want to pull up? I'm, I'm not, I want to just empty all my bank balance in here today. Well, give it to me then, Mike. <laughs> I, I don't mind that. I just need... I just, oh, I just need, like, two things in return. I've got one more thing. I'm very happy with that. Thank you so much. You, you've, you've, you've scratched an itch. You've scratched an itch for me. T-shirt. Like I've there. got a basket out there with, with some bits in it. But because I've missed the car boot this morning, I'm like, damn. What, you overslept? I've got a sore throat. Uh, you can hear it. Not, to me, if it doesn't really hurt anymore, it's more like, I don't know what it is. No, no, I've, I've been there. Yesterday, Pat was off with it. Today, Ellie's off with it. No, but I'm, 
I'm still sprightly, you see. So. You what, sorry? What's your colour? What's not my colour? Pale green. Yeah, they're my size though. Oh, are they? But my skinny ears in there. You just oh, dropped you the. Dropped uh, something. It's okay, it's the muslin thing. Oh, thank you. Muzzy. Muzzy. Yeah, don't lose the muslin. Muslin. <laughs> thank you. Right. Where is What's Madame a wonderful today? selection. Right, let's be honest. I think I've just got man flu. A quick little stop into the charity shop just to top up the store. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Right. Come on. I've decided to reopen the vintage store again, 2002 RL, because I've got a pending transaction that won't be completed until the 1st of November because it's a lost parcel. So I can't do anything until then anyway. So I've just opened it back up. I'm not, I'm not pissing around for another month. Is he active? They were £2. £2. Recommended retail on these is 65 For £2, I'll list these up for 10 12 and just shift them on. No dramas. Keep them bargains flowing, boy. Bickley and Mitchell. Never heard of it before. Thought it was some kind of, oh, let's try and make ourselves look really important when we're not kind of thing. No, apparently it does sell quite well. This was £2.25. It's like an over-the-head neck snood and you pull the bottom bits and you go, you <coughs> know what I mean? £2.25. I'm looking at about 15 quid on that one. And I'm actually a massive bell end. Most of you know that already. I picked something up that, in fact, I'll show you now. Fred Perry t-shirt. Nice little logo, nice little hit. Decent, isn't it? Yeah, I'm the one who donated this last week, last Wednesday. I'm the one who took this in there. It's got little stains on the armpits. I went in there and I said, it's got some stains on the armpits. Do you still want it? Can you get anything with that? They're like, yeah, 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 we'll still take it. Okay, I brought it back today, didn't I? What a bell end. And I paid £4 for the pleasure of it. £4 for my own stock that I took. Fucking hell. I told you I'm not very well today. Miles Morales, T.Y. Beanie. Even though it's not been, oh, it's got beans in it. Of course, it has it. That's why it's a beanie baby. Miles Morales, I think it was one pound seventy-five p. Whatever your face is, can't remember your name now. Bless you. But she said to me, Ricky, please stop picking up low-value items. You're better than that. Shut up. With all due disrespect, I'm sorry, my darling, but picking up low-value items, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing. They're what you might call bread and butter items, bill payers, all those little things. They tick over nicely, and it all adds up. So sorry to break it to you, but. It's a good thing picking up low value stuff. Got to try and find some high value stuff in between that as well, haven't you? Lingua phone. Now, it's annoyed me because I paid £3 for this and I remember seeing in the shop, I've done some research into this a minute ago and then brought back some memories that actually in that shop, at the back end, even though there's no cassettes in there, there's the Lingua phone cassette holder box. So that probably would have been nice to pick up. These are all over the shop. 5, 10, 15, 30. Who knows with these ones? They're, they really are like a hit and miss kind of thing. I haven't even opened it. Should we check it out? Should we check it out together and see if it's absolutely battered or not? Let's have a look together. Oh, it's never been used, man. It's never been used, look. Someone just nicked the headphones off it. Beautiful. That's going to be a nice, easy sale. Lovely. So someone's opened it up. <laughs> Someone's opened it up, had the headphones away, just left the player. Thank you for that. Cat in the bag, I'm pretty sure these are from like the 90s, late 90s, early 2000s. I remember seeing them around. I paid £2 for this one. If I remember rightly, you put it in and it reacts to sound. And then it starts like shaking around and whatever else. I can't be asked with the batteries to do it right now. Is there a date on there? 2000 ABL Innovation. So right bang on where I thought it would be. I reckon there's about 20 quid in that. I do. I could be dreaming, but I think there might be. I told you about this umbrella. I picked it up simply because now I'm not superstitious, so I'm going to open it. So, shush. Yeah. Long, long, long time viewers of the channel might remember when I found a Fulton umbrella before and it had the Queen's... Queen Mother's something. Thank you, Queen Mother or something. And I reached out to Fulton themselves and they actually replied to me. They said, what a lovely umbrella. But they, uh, they used to make the umbrellas for the royal family. This one is like a parasol type. They've got a little handle at the bottom. Just really nice by Fulton Umbrellas. This is a nice example of an older one. Just really sort of, I mean, it looks like a tent, doesn't it? You could probably just about put this into the steampunky category. It would make a good prop for a prop department. 
but I reckon it's going to last too long. I'll do some research into it just to make sure it's nothing special special, but as it is probably about 20, 25 quid, I'd two pound on that. FX Schmid puzzle. It was like three quid, four quid. Brand new and sealed, 1,500 piece. I reckon there's 25 to 30 pound in that one. This one is called Trinity. Look at that love. Oh, you can't really see because the plastic's ruining it. But you know, a little bit of ripping just there, but it doesn't matter. Still sealed. I reckon there's 25 to 30 pound back on that one. FX Schmid is a good little puzzle brand to be looking out for. Anything else? Oh, yeah, this. Now, this one here, my goodness. Is it? I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure that when it is the Jelly Cat, they have the Jelly Cat label on there as well. But John Lewis and Jelly Cat did a link up where they did the exact same one. Very similar to the chick that I sold recently for quite a lot of money to Rick. I think John Lewis and Jelly Cat linked up and basically did the same thing, but with a Jelly Cat tag on it. And probably with like Jelly Cat products, I don't know. Whatever. That is worth some crazy money. Let me do a bit of research. Hold on a minute. Let me get the exact figure. John Lewis Jelly Cat chick. Yeah, look at that. You can tell the difference now. So it's the same looking one. But it's got like the jelly cat kind of shaggy, whatever you call it. £299. Standard John Lewis chick, £40.99. There's the one I've just picked up, nine quid. There's the one with jelly cat, 299 I don't know if I didn't pay or not, but it's listed again for 299 there. Yeah, called the pudding chick. I don't know, maybe it's an unrealistic price. But I remember seeing it when I was researching for the other one. And I was like, oh, and that's what made this stick out in my mind. Is it everything? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm just going to do a little bit of listing today. I didn't make the car boot sale this morning. Set my alarm for five. As soon as it went off, I went, eh, no, basically. But I'm one of those. When I'm poorly, I'll still crack on and do a bit. I'm supposed to go to the gym today. I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm aching. Do you know what I mean? I think I've kind of reached the peak of where I can do stuff at the moment. So now I think I'm just going to die for a bit. Does that make sense? I felt it coming on for the last two or three days. This morning I woke up, sounded like Barry White. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. That's where I'm at. Not a bad few pickups. Spent 21, and I've got, probably, going to keep it reserved, 10, 18, 25, 55, 60, 75 quid. Not bad, is it? That was the chair squeaking as well, by the way. Oh. I'll see you in a bit.